Hi everyone, welcome to My Crafty Adventures. I'm on today to make a cute little card with you. I'm gonna do some more stamping and coloring, and then I thought we'd take what I made and turn it into a card. And I'm gonna be using the CC Designs uh, stamp set, and it's so cute, it's the little cartoony Cinderella princess, and it has her coach and a crown and her little mouse, and I just think it's adorable. And different sentiments to go with it as well. Happy birthday, princess. You are the sweetest. It's mice to see you. Um, live like there is no midnight. You deserve the royal treatment and have a magical day. So these are really cute, and I can't wait to use them. Again, they're from CC Designs, and it is called Magical Princess. I do believe it's sold out at this point, um, but I will leave a link to the company because they have some adorable things, and you really need to look through them. Okay. So I have already stamped these out just to save some time. So I have my Cinderella and I have my coach. And I'm gonna start by coloring this beautiful little girl. And we'll just put this coach to the side. And I have my markers all picked out. As usual, I'm gonna start with her face and I have my Copic markers here. The ones I'm gonna be using for this are E000, E11, Let's see, are you getting a good view of that? Let's make sure you are. E11 and E00. Okay, come on, focus in camera, do your thing. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna start with E11. As you know, I always like to do the face first because if that doesn't come out, then nothing really matters after that. So I'm just gonna go right up into her hairline, right around the top of the head, around the sides of her face, the little cheekies. She's so cute. And I'm gonna leave it like that. Then I'm gonna come in with my next color, which is E00, and I'm gonna pull that dark color down a little bit into the middle of her face more. Give her a little bit of shadow. Just going over that, and I'm gonna go under her chin very cute. I'm also going to take my middle color here, the E00, and I'm going to do her ears. And I'm going to do her arms. There's not a lot of room for blending because these spaces are so small. So I find that it's fine just to use that middle color and just get it done. So there we go. And then I'm going to come in with my softest color, my softest color, excuse me, E000 pale fruit pink. I really do love these brush markers, boy. These Copics are so easy to use and so beautiful. Unfortunately, they're so expensive. <laughs> so um, we're going to finish the rest with my Ohuhus, which are great markers too and a great value. So if you have um, a need for some alcohol markers, these are definitely worth the price. Okay. For her hair, I have chosen to use Y495, which is lemon yellow, and Y397, canary yellow. Oh, canary yellow. And I'm just going to do the little ends here. And I don't want to get her headband quite yet. I don't want to mistake her hair for her little headband. Just going to do some little strokes around the uh, places where they have some shadowing or shading they show you with these little lines. There we go. Maybe a little up here in the scalp area too. I'll do a little bit. Isn't she adorable? I love that face. And next I'm just going to do the rest with this yellow. I'm going to pull out that dark yellow and bring it right into the light yellow. Again, when these areas are so small, it's fine to use two markers. I mean, I know they say you should use a minimum of three. Sometimes I use one, sometimes I use two, sometimes I use three. Not really using four or five yet, um, but I'm loving the way that they're coming out, so work, do what works for you. There's no right or wrong way. That's what I say, do what works for you. That's my philosophy, which you all know. There's no wrong way, just enjoy your art. Okay, for her blue dress, I'm gonna use B190 and B194. 
So I'm going to pull those out of my little container there. And I'm first going to go in with B190. I keep opening that chisel end by mistake. And I am going to do her whole headband with just B190. Why not, right? Well, at least I'll do the little sides. How about that? I'll do the little sides and then we'll go in with a little lighter color on top. I'm going to do her little sleeve over here. And then I'm going to do a little piece of her sleeve here. And then I'm just going to go in and follow these fold lines. And I know it doesn't look great, but just wait till it all blends together. And I'm not the greatest colorist in the world, but I enjoy it. It's very relaxing. Whoops! Spun her all the way around there. It's very relaxing. I hope the rest of you are enjoying your summer. It's coming to an end. I know kids are going back to school. My son is going back to school next week. This is his last weekend home. B194. And of course he was away for an internship most of the summer. So I didn't get to see him. So we're just trying to enjoy every moment that he's home now. Enjoy the weekend together. But it went by much, much too fast. You know, they write these parenting books for when kids are small. They really need to write one about letting go and being able to adjust when it's time to send them off into the world or off to college or the military or wherever they're going. Letting go is a, it's a hard thing. It really is. So here's my little blue dress. I mean, you know, you know you're doing your job right because they're ready to fly. Actually, I'm going to do her earrings too in blue. They're ready to fly and that's what you raised them to do. But at the same time, it's just really difficult. You know, I'm not crazy about the way her dress is blending, so I'm just going to go over it a little bit more with this light color again. See if we can get a little better blend in there. I think I rushed. I think I was rushing. Here we go. This is looking better. And again, she's so adorable. So pretty. And there's our cute little Cinderella. Next, I'm going to do the coach. We'll put her over here. She can sit there and enjoy the coloring, too. And for the coach, I'm using a different series of blues. I'm using MG030, which is blue-gray. I am using MG031, which is both blue-gray. That can't be right. Are they both called blue-gray? They are both called blue-gray. That's my, that's my beef with Ohuhu's. Their coloring and numbering system makes absolutely no sense. So we're using two blue-grays. And MG011, <laughs> which is also called blue-gray. There's blue gray. It looks like they have different numbers down here. Nope, those are the 030, 031, and 011. I have no idea, but they're all called blue gray. So we're going to start by using the darkest, and we're going to just outline around this coach. This coach is so cute. I turn the paper a lot when I color as well. I just find it easier. There we go. So um, if you follow me, and you've been following me for a while, you know I did my lives on Sunday, and I just wanted to let everybody know that I will be coming back starting September 1st. We're going to go in with our medium blue. I'll be coming back starting September 1st, and that will be 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, just like it was in the past. And we're going to be doing lots of new things this year. So hopefully you'll be able to join in. You can always watch it and replay. I think I'm losing ink. I'm running out of ink on this side, so I think I'm going to have to use my chisel side, which I'm not a fan of, but let's just see how it works out. So I hope you'll join in. I really love going live and seeing everybody and 
chatting with you in the comments section. It's a lot of fun. You, you make the absolute best Sundays for me. I have missed you terribly. I really just needed some time off this summer. And I'm going to be much more kind to myself this year as well. I am going to be much more choosy about what I commit to instead of trying to do every swap, every haul, every challenge. It, it just can't be done. And I realized that when this past summer, or actually spring, I just said, enough is enough. And I finished up the last couple of um, swaps that I was committed to and took a break. And it's nice because you come back really refreshed and ready to go. You know, you don't want this to become a chore. This is supposed to be your happy place. This is supposed to be your relaxing place. And it's not about the numbers. It's not about all the affiliates. It's not about, for me, for me, it's not about trying to always increase my followers. It's about putting out really good content for the followers that I have. Because you are here and you are sticking with me and I appreciate that. So I want to make sure you get my attention first. You deserve it. And I want you to know how much I appreciate you. So there we are. We have some cute little shading here in the coach. I'm going to do the door too. The little door of the coach. And I think I want my... 031 is my darker one, so we'll go in with the, that in the door. There we go. Coming with my middle color again. Maybe I can get a little bit out of it. I really don't want to use the chisel tip here, it's too narrow a spot. And then we'll add some little highlight right in the middle. There we go. I hate that squeaking noise, so let's finish up. This one's def my blues are definitely drying out on me. Okay, really cute. We're doing great. Now we need to do the little step here and the little heart, and I'm going to do those in pink. And I have RV195 Cotton Candy. And I have RV194, which is medium pink. And I'm going to come in first with my cotton candy. And I'm going to just do the little bottom of this step here. Right there, just a little teeny dot. And then I'll come in with my next color. Oh, I reversed them. You know what? Totally okay. Let's stick with it. We're just going to do it the one color then. I reversed the darker and the lighter, but that's all right. They're such small areas, it doesn't matter. And that's the magic of alcohol markers. Really cute. Again, who cares? Do it the way you want to do it. Have fun with it, and don't worry about anything else. Okay, I am actually going to come back in and do the curtains, too. We'll do a little bit of the curtains. This last curtain should be darker probably because it's a little bit shadowed and then we'll just do the tops of these and then I'll come back in with my other pink and just fill in this is gonna be adorable and then I'm just gonna finish off the wheels with a gray I am NOT gonna go overboard with trying to do um, shading here. So I'm just going to fill this in with a light gray. Uh, no, I'm not. I made a mistake. I misspoke. I'm going to fill it in with a darker gray. There we go. That'll show up a little bit nicer. spokes. So I am really new to card making 
and it was very intimidating to me for a while until I started stamping and coloring because I'm using those images on my card as opposed to, you know, maybe using mixed media or um, die cuts, that type of thing. I have found just having a place to showcase my stamps is really very, very fun, and a card is the perfect medium for that. So there we go. We have our cute little coach and our cute little Cinderella. And I'm just going to put all these markers away here. And then the next thing I think I want to do is maybe add a little bit of Winka Stella. So I'm just going to grab that because I didn't have that ready. And let's add a little bibbidi bobbidi boo, shall we? Let's make sure there's a lot of sparkle in here because we know the coach just sparkles. And I'm not sure if this is picking up on camera. It probably isn't. But maybe, yeah, maybe you can see that little bit of sparkle. And I think we'll add some to her dress too, right? Why not? The more sparkle, the better. And I'm not being particularly careful with this. I'm just plopping at different places in her headband and on her dress. Because Cinderella, she just needs that little bit of glitter, doesn't she? The fairy godmother just hit her with that wand and gave her all the sparkle. Okay, terrific. The next thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these out on my scan and cut. If you don't know what that is, it's an electronic cutting machine. And what I can do is actually scan these images right into the machine and it will cut around these, which is perfect for stamps that don't have die sets to them. So something to think about, just another little machine to think about, right? Just one more thing to add to your craft room. So if you give me a minute, I'm going to go to the other side of the room and I'm going to cut these out. I'll be right back. Now through the miracle of technology, we have both our little Cinderella and our coach cut out. So cute. Now the next thing I want to do is create a little background for the card. And what I'm going to do is use some ink and a stencil set that I have. And I just thought it might be nice to create a little starry background for Cinderella. So I have this star stencil and I've cut out a little piece of this watercolor paper which I think looks like dusk and I think it's so beautiful. And I'm just gonna cover this with some stars. I think I wanna go this way, the darker part on top. And I am going to grab my mint tape. Again, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> And I am just going to tape this down to make sure our stencil stays where we want it to when we're going to start inking. There we go. Usually I would do this on a glass mat, but my glass mat is on the other side of my craft desk. And this is the part where I do my videoing. So I just put a little piece of um, scrap paper underneath. I'm going to come in with a dark blue. I'm not going to um, show you the ink I'm using because I don't love it. And I've ordered some new inks. And when I get an ink that I love, I will share it with you. But I'm going to take my little dauber here. And I'm just going to start inking up this stencil. And I start off to the side a little so I don't get that big, dark mark on the card. If you start off to the side, you can slowly just blend your way in. Again, this is another medium I'm new to, but I'm enjoying it very, very much. It's very satisfying, especially when you pull the stencil off and you see how cool it looks underneath. Oops. Meant to start on the corner and I didn't. And these are just cheap little finger blotters that I got on Timu or Alley, one of those. Just make sure this is all covered nice. Let me pull the stencil off. See a little few spots where I didn't quite get some of the littler stars. Okay, 
All right, hopefully I covered everything up here. So let's take this off and see how it looks. Look at that, that is beautiful. Now, just an FYI, I had already cut this piece of paper down to three and three quarters by five because I'm gonna be doing some layering. Now, I'm just gonna take a second and wipe the ink off my hands so I don't transfer it to the rest of the card. There we go. And I will clean up this later. Let's just set it to the side. And I will set my ink to the side. And my little inker. Okay, so now we have this done. I have a card base here. And I'm going to adhere this to the card base. But the other thing I want to do, too, is I think that I would like to cut the white spaces out of this little um, coach. Now, can't tell you it's going to be great, but I'm going to give it the old college try. And I have a set of little craft knives and stuff that I have been using. So I'm going to pull one out. And I'm going to get started. I'm not going to make you sit through the whole thing, so I'll just get started and we'll do one little section and then I'll go off camera and take the next hour or so to finish it <laughs> and come back to you. But here I'm just going to take this and since I'm on a self-healing mat, I'm just going to take my time Hopefully these will come out okay. And that way we can see the background through the spin the spokes and through the um, coach window. And there we go, I popped one out. As you can see, I might have to cut it off the back. Let's see. Nope, it's popping out. There we go. So I have one done. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my time and do the rest of it. And I will be back. Okay, we're back. Um, I cut out the window and I was able to cut out the spokes. Had a little bit of a problem, you can see. I cut through one of the spindles, so I had to do some surgery and glue it back on. And now I want to go back in with my marker again. And I'm going to just grab that scrap paper that we used for inking. And I'm just going to set this on it and I am going to color that little spoke in again. We can always fix things, right? No need to go back to the drawing board. So there we go, I fixed my little spoke. And you can see all my little pieces here that I cut out. We'll just get rid of those. And let's finish creating our card. So here we have this background that I made. I also have a card here. And this is an A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And what I want to do is I want to layer this light blue to match her dress on top of the card first. And I've cut this down to four and five and a quarter. So it's just going to give me ever so much of a border. So I'm going to get my glue here. And you can use tape. You can use whatever you like. But I'm going to use my glue. I find, you know, with the tape, you have that one shot. And I'm not great at getting things centered. So I'm going to go ahead, and the card's going to go this way. So I'm going to go ahead, whoops, and place this on. And see how that I have that wiggle room with the glue that I don't necessarily have with tape. And I think that looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and press that down. Then I'm going to add these stars in the background, and again, I'm going to just make sure it has a small border going around. And we're going to put that down over the other one. And I could have actually used dimensionals and popped this one up a little bit, but I decided not to. I'm just going to leave it flat. I can also use some dimensionals and pop up Cinderella and the coach but for the time being, I think I'm going to leave everything flat. I've also cut out and stamped one of the sentiments. I chose live like there is no midnight. 
and I'm going to cut that down and put this on. Let's see, I think I like the width of it, so I cut it an inch thick. I'm going to just trim down the sides. I'm going to grab my scissors. I'm just going to trim that off. There we go. And I'm going to stick that right there, I think. We'll have Cinderella here. We'll have the coach. And we'll have the sentiment. Now I'm just, I'm playing around with these a little bit. You know what? I think I do want to make this thinner. So I'm going to take my scissors and just trim this down on both sides. And hopefully that's straight. There we go. That looks a little bit better. It's not straight, so I'm going to fix that. And then I can put the coach in the background a little bit. I'm not sure. I like the coach a little bit in the background, but I think she needs to be looking at it, facing it. And where do we want to put the sentiment? Maybe just right in the center there. I know I play around with it a lot. That looks good. I'm going to straighten this one out. Just give me a second. There we go. Nope, I think I made it worse. <laughs> I am terrible at this. <laughs> and now I think it looks crooked and wonky. Let's see, where do I want to cut it to straighten it out? This way. There we go. We're going to live with it. We're just going to live with it. And I'm going to go ahead and add these two with glue. We're just going to live with it. Hey, it's a handmade card, right? It's not supposed to be perfect. And I'm going to put her down a little bit so I can put the coach up a little bit further. This is just such a cute die. Let me go her little coach. And then we'll have live like there is no midnight. We'll add our sentiment. And I think this can use a little bit of bling as well. So I'm just going to grab a couple of um, gems. I have these cute sparkly purple ones. I think I'll add a couple of those. So we'll open this up. So I'm just going to remove a couple of these. I'm going to put one up here. Add a little glue first. Let's see. and pop that down. Whoops! Come on, get off my finger. I have my little picker tool and I'm not even using it. We'll put that right there. Let that glue dry. I just, Actually, I think the one is cute. Just the one to um, emphasize the sentiment. And I tend to be very kind of clean crafter myself. I don't do a lot of layers and things like that. I think, you know, sometimes less is more. But maybe we can also add a little Wink of Stella to some of these stars. How about that? Give them a little glisten. Can you see that? So pretty. Those stars are just twinkling. And I'm just hitting the big ones. Okay, and there we have it. This fun little card, Live Like There's No Midnight with Cinderella and her coach, and she's ready to go. Thanks so much for tuning in with me. I hope you enjoyed this card making session. And if you did, I'd love you to leave a comment down below. If you don't want to leave a comment, leave an emoji. That would be great too. Just let me know that you were here. Until our next crafty adventure, everyone. Take care and be well. Bye-bye now.